Sandcar BS and Sandcar Adventure Crew, Conrad coming at you with the news, events, weather, and stuff for June 9th, 2022. Right now we've got the Bournemouthville Trading Post live cam pulled up. Looks like we've got a little bit of cloudy coverage out of the sand dunes. And let's see here. Let's get into the news. So what's the big news in Glamis right now? So what do we have? The uh, crash yesterday. MCAS Yuma Facebook page. You might have seen I shared this because I'm a fan of uh, sharing like factual information instead of hearsay. So what they had said on here was that, yes, they confirmed that there was a crash of an Osprey and it did not have nuclear material on there so take it for what it is if you want to learn more about it go to mcas yuma facebook page and do a little bit of research but there was a crash this is what the machine looks like beautiful aircraft right so here's an osprey this is what the aircraft looked like that crashed and what's unique about this is it has these engines that swivel that allow it to take off like a, a helicopter and then as it gains altitude they flip these engines down and it's able to fly forward like a helicopter it's a pretty pretty amazing machine from what i have seen so far it looks like and i guess this is for folks that uh, haven't been to glamis or you're planning on going this will be a little bit of information for you we've got the sand dunes right here okay here's the 78 this is glamis store Boardmanville Trading Post is somewhere right around here. This is where we're watching the live cam from that they're shooting all that footage from. The Buttercup or the South Dunes is right down here. And then here is the All-American Canal running up to Gecko Road, Road and Rudder and all of that. Now, what it looks like where the um, aircraft crashed was here. It's in this section, which if you go, you know, but for those that don't, this is a uh, military bombing range. So it's posted everywhere, stay out of here, don't be cruising around and checking this stuff out. This is a no man's land. So just west of the canal, somewhere here in the bombing range is where the Osprey did in fact crash. And I would have gone out there to check it out myself, but it kind of spurned me on to figure out how to get a uh, press pass. I'm like, bro, you know what? I'm doing this, I might as well get a press pass and I can really get some news of what's going on, right? Uh, very unfortunate five Marines did pass away so total drag Godspeed to those folks and thoughts and prayers to the families of those or anybody impacted by this crash right this is the first responders whether that was a civilian or it was the military or anybody who was involved with this this is you know a traumatic experience so thoughts and prayers to everybody involved especially those that are the family members Okay, so let me po poke this back up here and let's get to events. How about California? Whoever's in California and San Diego, you are so lucky. This and from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. is the off-road show and swap at the Lakeside Rodeo Arena. And I don't get to go. Right, I'm based out of Phoenix, so this is like a six hour drive for me to get over there. But for anybody that gets to go, San Diego is just kind of the mecca of the off-road world, right? So what are you gonna find there? Vintage ATC stuff, perhaps you'll find some vintage dune buggy parts, sand car parts, that's all the stuff that I'm always looking for. I'm a treasure hunter, right? I love ATC 90s, early ones. Uh, Joker frames, you know, uh, Potter frames, all of that stuff. And always looking for A-arm chassis. You know, I'm not, I don't ever particularly like to buy complete cars. I like to build them up, right? I like to have every nut and bolt turned on that, that I know what's going wrong if it's starting to break. But uh, head over to the off-road show and swap if you're anywhere near the Lakeside Rodeo Arena. There's some deals to be had, I'm sure, and I am jealous. Okay, next, Arizona. We're moving into saturday a.m 4453 south rule road in tempe we have the coffee and crawlers event uh desert rat off-road centers does this uh once a month on saturday mornings and what you will find there is a bunch of jeeps pretty much a bunch of them donuts coffee and a raffle i went about a year ago and checked this out it's a pretty neat event it's a lot of fun so if you're anywhere near uh, Tempe and you want to go see some off-road stuff or go check out the desert rat shop I mean, they've got sales going on and stuff pick yourself up a coffee and a donut and get yourself a deal moving on What else we got Costa Vida every Saturday night? They got a new logo Fresh Mexican Grill off-road night 6 o'clock 6 p.m. On till I guess it clears out But bring out what you got anything off-road related uh, go out and get yourself some dinner support Costa Vida Grill and those that are putting this on it's a pretty neat event. So let's get into the weather. And what do we got? 
An excessive heat warning. Oh my gosh. So there are plenty of folks that do like to go out to the dunes in the summertime. If you've never done it before, you really need to be prepared with shade and water. Uh, we are at over 100 degrees, up to 113 on Saturday with 80s at night. So it's definitely going to be one of those ones where you're going to want to be drinking and in the shade. And if you do decide to dune only in the evenings or at night or early in the morning, but not in the middle of the day, don't dune alone. Not when it's over 100 degrees out, you get into trouble really fast. So there's going to be no rain whatsoever. There's going to be some mild wind. But look at this excessive heat warning. Just stay out of the dunes right now it's it's a miserable place at the imperial sand dunes it's just too odd same thing with dumont if you're a dumont duner just there's really no shade in dumont right so let's see what else we got i was saying weather stuff we can go over to sand car adventures youtube channel we've got 299 subscribers currently if you happen to know anybody who enjoys watching youtube and enjoys sand cars send them our way tell them to hit that subscribe button uh hit the bell that'll notify you whenever we load videos and uh, we're trying to build this YouTube channel up. I've got, uh, I got canceled on last Saturday. I was gonna be filming somebody's car. We're gonna have a member's ride. And I think you're really gonna like what's, what we've got in store. So I'm just waiting for him to get that, his car situated and tuned. And then we're gonna go shoot his brand new, super fast, super amazing, sand car. All right, stuff, what else do we got? Sand car by sell, head over to sandcarbysell.com. And sand car adventures because now i've made it too right and pick up your merch t-shirts and hats we're going to have sand car adventure merch coming soon it's basically going to be the same logo we're just going to change buy sell to adventures because it's looking like our uh, our social media is youtube is one audience uh the facebook group is another audience so we're making a little bit of changes here but otherwise it's all good so please go subscribe to the youtube channel support us by purchasing this merch and I guess I will say that's all I got. Thank you for watching. Stay safe in the dunes this summer. See you in the dunes. It allows this to, aircraft to take off vertically and then fly like an airplane. So here's an Osprey. And what this aircraft does, it's got these swiveling engines. They flip them up, both of these, and they, it enables it. I cannot believe I'm struggling so bad to get this out. That'll allow it to take off like a, a helicopter. And then as it gains altitude, they flip these engines down and it's able to fly forward like a helicopter. It's a